What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is another IMR patch notes and it's not a preview this time. We've actually got the information on screen. We're going to go through the new heroes but first we're going to go through the actual patch notes. So if you want to stick around for the hero discussion then um, yeah you'll have to either skip forward to that chapter for that part. Um, or just watch the whole thing. Just watch the whole thing. Uh, don't forget using Karzak on Aptoid. You can save yourself a very good amount of money. 5% uh, bonus from the code Karzak itself. And you start off with an actual 10% or cashback from Aptoid. So combined together, it's 15%. That can increase up to 25%. And on set days, you can save an extra 5% and 10%. Those days are on my channel uh, for Aptoid discount days. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the patch notes preview and thank you to all of those using my code on Aptoid. It does mean an awful lot to me. Uh, event news. So Miracle Wish Up heroes are Grace, Sigmund, Balton, Asindo and Inna. It's actually a very nice banger. Uh, Sigmund is still an amazing hero, even without exclusives. Balton, however, does need those exclusives. So you re really, really want them on there. Asindo makes it into the Miracle Wish upright. Asindo is a great CC hero, mainly used in PvP now, however. Um, Inna, uh, Inna hasn't been used quite as much as we originally thought when she dropped. She is very good in Faction Abyss. Um, maybe there's some more to explore with her. I'm unsure, unsure. Grace, though, I will say at first glance, there's some pretty amazing features in Grace, and we'll have a talk about that in a moment. Uh, new features. Oh, obviously, there's a new epic as well. We'll get to that. New features. Added craft feature for equipment and artifact advancing items, and released new quality advancing items. Superior Dragon Scale Shard. Adventurers can collect 100 Superior Dragon Scale Shards through Wuthering Coast to craft one Superior Dragon Scale. That's actually a nice feature there. Add a champion guest feature to championship. Adventurers who make a correct pick will get a certain number of miracle runes based on the odds. Uh, feature adjustments. Optimized heroes equipment switching feature. Okay. Um, is that going to switch it all at once? We'll see. Number two. Adventurers can now challenge the Wuthering Coast at the same time during multi-battle. Added a skip checkbox to Wuthering Coast. So set your team up in your uh, test trials or your battle trials. And just click the skip feature for fast finish. Number three, adjusted the rewards for individual total damage in the Wuthering Coast from there is a chance to drop superior dragon scales to guaranteed drop of superior dragon scale shards. Number four, after filtering the sub entry attributes, the equipment will be displayed based on the value of sub entry attributes when equipment of the same part has the same star level, quality, and level. I like this. I like, wait, hang on. The equipment will be displayed based on the value of the sub entry attributes. So we're going to see the higher sub. I hope that's what that means. Uh, now adventurers can enter a name to look for a hero in gallery. While well, there is so many friggin' heroes. There is so many. Uh, we need that now. Uh, so, you know, it's a nice little patch here, actually. It's a nice little patch. There's some, some good little features added in. Okay, let's have a look at the new hero, Grace. Grace. Um, yeah. Okay, legend. Holy light parliament. Uh, type is support and mark is force. Feather Dance deals attack damage to a single enemy and attack bleed damage to a single enemy with a chance to inflict one layer of bleed for two turns. Fortune Blessings grants Consolidation 2 for all allies for two turns. Sacred Feather's Blessing, this is her passive. At the beginning of Grace's turn, grants all allies one layer of Gleaming Feather. When an ally of Gleaming Feather inflicts bleed successfully, Gleaming Feather will convert into Spirit Feather and be transferred to Grace. Spirit Feather, each layer increases Grace's bleed damage out based on her initial mastery and won't be removed upon death. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. When an eye of Gleaming Feather inflicts bleed successfully, Gleaming Feather will convert into Spirit Feather and be transferred to Grace. Okay. Um, I kind of wish that that converted on them. That would have been nice to, to increase the bleed damage. It'll be interesting to see how this scales though on her damage. But this is the big one for me. Sacred Feather Array restores all allies' health based on their max health and increases their effect hit by 50% for two turns. The only hero in the game to increase effect hit like this. Effect hit 50% buff, that's huge. That's huge. It, you know, a lot of us are using, say, Nicholas in, in Guild Boss for that effect resistance down by 50%, but this effect buff by 50% for two turns is huge. Um, also, all allies excluding self will... 
own the same number of layers of spirit feather as Grace. Oh, okay. Okay. So, we do get that spirit feather. Woo! She's going to buff lead heroes. Crazy. Crazy. But this effect, it increases massive. It means that we can really, you know, focus purely on attack and mastery rather than affect it. Holy Light Feather, these are her exclusives. At the beginning of battle, increases Grace's healing effect based on her initial mastery. Also, at the beginning of an ally's turn, restores the ally's health if Grace survives. For every one layer of Spirit Feather owned by Grace, additionally restores the ally's health. Level 2. After Grace casts Fortune's Blessing or Sacred Feather away, ar array, uh, proactively tosses feathers of the same quantity at that of Spirit Feather layers owned by self to attack enemies randomly. That was confusing. Each feather deals one stage of attack damage and attack bleed damage to the target. If the same target is hit multiple times during a single cast, the damage taken at each stage is equal to part of the previous stage. When the same target is hit by 10 times or above during a single cast, there's a chance to reduce the target's crit damage by 60% as well for two turns. Okay. Level 3. At the beginning of Grace's turn, she gains one layer of Spirit Feather. When Self owns 5, 10 or 15 layers of Spirit Feather, gains the following additional effects. 5 layers at the beginning of Grace's turns, cleanses one random layer of debuff from all allies. That's nice. 10 layers also grants all allies a shield equal to 25% of her max health. This is Fortune Best Blessing. This is her... Oh wow, so she's given a shield as well as Consolidation too. That's nice at 10 layers. 15 layers... Sacred Feather Array also refreshes the duration of all allies' attribute buffs. Hmm. This is a really nice support hero. This is a really nice support hero, especially for your bleeders. Especially for your bleeders. Um, but this effect hit boost is massive. Even without exclusives, I would be so tempted to use her for this effect hit boost and then just Stacking that damage up more on our on our DPSs. I mean, I, I think she's going to be a great hero. I think Grace is going to be a great hero. Um, yeah, I think she's worth pulling for. Okay, Muradin, uh, Epic, the Forgotten type is defense. Mark is blue. Ross Blow deals defense damage to a single enemy with a chance to reduce target's effect resistance by twenty five percent. This is a nice basic. Uh, Frost Wall grants Consolidation 1 to all allies and increases their tenacity by 30%. This is nice. Hopefully Exclusive will increase this to 2. Uh, Dwarf Bloodline reduces the direct damage taken by all allies when Muradin survives. Only the strongest skill will take effect when there are multiple skills that can increase this attribute. Okay. Frost Slash increases all allies' defense by 30% for 2 turns. Afterward, deals defense damage to a single enemy with chance to inflict freeze for 1 turn. Okay, let's have a look at these exclusives. Level 1 restores Muradin's health based on his max health when dealing basic attack damage or skill damage. Nice. Uh, level 2 increases all allies' defense by 60% for 2 turns. This is good. Level 3 Muradin restores max health when taking fatal damage. This effect only takes effect up to once per wave. Okay, so we don't get Consolidation 2, which is a shame. But he's still a solid epic. Still a solid epic. But, I mean, all the limelight here does go to Grace, for sure. For sure. But on that note, who would I pull her over these? She's going to be huge for that effective buff for all allies. It means we can really scale our damage up. Sigmund is great about exclusives. Yeah, I mean, even one copy of Grace is fantastic. Pick up one copy if you can get it. Uh, Balton does need exclusive 3 to be fully effective. Asindo as well, ideally wants exclusive 5 for PvP, so she's fast enough. Um, yeah, Grace is looking solid here, and Sigmund as well. Those early game players, uh, you know, new account. I'll probably take Sigmund out of this just for exclusive 0 help. Um, yeah, okay, that is it for this video. That is it for this video. Um, good luck on your pulls. Grace is looking fantastic, for sure. That effect hit buff is crazy. Don't forget, using apps or using the code Karzak, you can help support me and my channel and save your money at the same time. Works both ways, right? It's nice. It's good. It's good. So, uh, I'll see all of you on the next video. Have a fantastic day, even wherever you are. Goodbye.